Hey everyone, uh, he, yeah, you probably, you can tell why I'm here in this, I'm just waiting for the direct start, currently it's one minute before the direct starts, and I've been waiting for this one for a really, really long time, so, yeah, I'm just, this is just gonna be kind of my live reactions to this and figuring out, yeah, this was supposed to air a week ago when I was excited back then, and then it got postponed a week because of uh, the earthquake in Japan. I was I was honestly a little skeptical they were going to do the same thing with the because of the hurricanes that are in the southeastern part of the United States, but yeah, um, yeah. So, oh, it's technically 7 p.m. my time. Holy crap. Just gotta wait for this thing to actually change. I'm just waiting. Yep, okay, here we go, here we go. All right, let's see what we got today. All right. Oh, um... Oh shoot, what do, what do we got? Oh, Luigi's Mansion, okay. Yeah, this was coming to the 3DS. I actually forgot all about that. I'm gonna be honest, I feel like I'm the only person who's... Okay, this... A lot of this looks... different, actually. Oh! Luigi's Mansion 3! Oh! I knew they were remaking the first game. I didn't know there was actually going to be a third Luigi's Mansion, huh? Hello, everyone. I'm Shinya Takahashi, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. Alright. As you just saw, we kicked things off with a new reveal. Oh, yeah, kick things off with a new reveal. Next spooky adventure is in development for Nintendo Switch. I... I have the original. I'm god-awful at the original Luigi's Mansion. But, um, like, I always found the controls really weird to get into, and I never played the 3DS sequel. I remember I was at PAX East when it came out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Kirby? What? The 2010 Wii game Kirby's Epic Yarn is warping to Nintendo 3DS. Oh, Epic Yarn is coming... That seems really late to port Epic Yarn to the 3DS. Huh. Um, I'm curious to see what else it'll bring. I would have personally rather see this on the Switch than the 3DS, personally, but I guess it makes sense. New abilities? What? You can craft bigger yarn balls. Oh. Even conjure up some wind to break in the beads. Wait. Challenge, what? You can outrun this speed demon of a devil in devilish mode. To top it off, new mini games will give you a chance to play. Okay, so they added a couple new mini games. I love Kirby's Epic Yarn, but Kirby's Extra Epic Yarn launches Kirby's Extra Epic Yarn. I love Epic Yarn, but I hate to say the fact that it's a 3DS game, I'm just not too sure I'd be really interested. Also, something about Bowser Jr. Oh, this is uh, Bowser's Inside Story. I love Bowser's Inside Story, but I, I haven't really played it since, like, I got it, and that was about eight years ago. I know it came out about nine years ago now. I kind of... I, it sounds weird. I almost don't know if I like this art style or not, um, just because I think the art style in the original games is really good. And I kind of liked the newer art style at first, but I don't know if I like it as much. I don't know, I still need to finish. I actually have, um, uh, Superstar Saga right here, um, the 3DS version. I still need to finish that. Okay, January 11th, 2019. Coincidentally, that's, 7 January was around the time I finished that game originally. While you're waiting for the new game on Nintendo Switch, oh, Luigi's Mansion. Don't forget that the original Luigi's Mansion is coming to Nintendo 3DS. 
That comedically spooky vibe that fans remember mm. is intact. Even when you're playing the new two-player mode making its debut in the Nintendo Luigi's Mansion in two-player. If you and another player each own the game, one of you can play as this even greener guy as you explore the mansion together. You know, it's, it sounds weird, but a lot of games that are just coming to the 3DS, like, I just don't know if I feel like the 3DS is really the best system for these kinds of games. Professor Egad's lab, you can tap select amiibo figures to surprising results, like revealing hidden booze, or healing Luigi when he talks to Toad. Why would you... Uh, I don't know. Um... Okay, I don't know what that was all about. I know a lot of people really love Luigi's Mansion. I like the idea of it. I just... I'm terrible at it. Uh, news on Yokai Watch. A series I have never played. I was kind of interested in Yokai Watch, but I just never got around to actually playing it. Battles in the series yet. Soon after launch, you'll have another way to squat up. You won't want to miss the free software update on September 27th, which adds the Moon Rabbit Crew version to the title. Screen. Actually, I, th I think this is a spin off of Yokai Watch anyway. I don't know if it's. Have there, have there been any other reveals for the Switch yet besides the. Luigi's Mansion being in the works. Why you ask? You know why. And if you don't, <laughs> now's the perfect time to I'm kind of wondering if they'll add a Yokai Watch character in Smash Bros. And don't forget about okay. the Moon Rabbit Crew update. Okay, so there's something new. The headlines for Nintendo 3DS. Oh wow, we're only 7 minutes into this and we're already done with the 3DS. Well, from here, let's I'm not I'm sort of not surprised, but I am too. Please take a look. Uh, Switch titles. It's oh, Splatoon 2 update. Version 4. I don't... I mean, I guess this is just a new map or something? Um, Splatoon... T I, I'm not totally sure what this is. I'm guessing just a new map. I, I like Splatoon 2. I need, probably need to play more of it, but... Um, it's some montage right now, but this just looks like some sort of anime opening with the Splatoon characters, and I don't know, like, that's what this seriously reminds me of, it's just like an anime opening, and I'm not really sure, like, what exactly it is about, or... Okay, it does look like just new maps, which I don't mind, um... Especially if these maps are free, which they usually are in Splatoon 2. This was an update, not a DLC. Oh, we have grenades that you can shake? Or splat bombs, I guess? Um, uh, that's a new weapon there, too. Um, or a finisher? What the heck is this? Looks like someone just used, like, a miniature spirit bomb or something. Okay, yeah, we got the... It's a Splatoon 2 update. What, what's actually in this? Okay. <laughs> More details at Squid Research Lab. Or okay, then, I guess. Oh, Mega Man 11 here. I have some thoughts on this too. I need to play more of the demo, but anniversary of the iconic series, this brand new game is gunning for greatness on Nintendo Switch. I just I played the demo of this and I thought it was all right, but I felt like the stage was way, way too long personally. I actually think I once thought of a robot master called Bounce Man, actually. I had an I had an idea for like eight Robot Masters back in the day, and I think one of them was kind of like a. I think one of them might have been something called Bounce Man. I don't actually know. So. So. 
October 2nd. October 2nd. That's... I think we knew that, but it's... Yeah. Mario Tennis. Let's see what this update is. Oh, I think we knew about this. I think it's Birdo, Diddy Kong, and Drybones, I think. Oh, Shy Guy. And Paratroopa. Oh. Okay. I think we knew about some of these characters here. We also have P Piranha as well. I think we knew some of these characters were coming, but... Yeah. There will even be a new mode called Co-op Challenge. It'll let you participate in online co-op missions that... Co-op Challenge. I've been considering getting this, it's just... Especially with the Canadian money value right now, I don't know if... <laughs> change up. I don't know if, uh... $80 is really worth Mario Tennis or not yet. It looks pretty good, and I liked the 3DS Mario Tennis. So these arcade classics are back in action. Back in the day, Capcom lit up the arcades with um, beat em up action games. Okay, Streets of Rage. The good old days are back. Final fight. Arcade games are on the Switch. That's kind of King of Dragons. Or Final Fight, I mean, why did I say Streets of Rage? That's Sega. Knights of the Round. Um Warriors of Fate. I like the idea of a lot of beat em ups, but a lot of them just kind of. I don't want to say feel the same, but I mean, like. I don't know. I'm not good at beat em ups. I like the idea of them. Um, I like games that have more of like a unique twist on them, like something like uh, Scott Pilgrim, for example. Um, but yeah. Because Capcom Beat 'em Up Bundle will be ready for action on Nintendo eShop September 18th. Capcom Beat 'em Up Bundle. That's probably going to be charged some full price thing, which I think is bonkers, personally. Okay, so this this was a rumored thing here, actually. The New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. Mario, Luigi, and Toad. I can't say I'm too terribly surprised. and Toadette are joining in the fun as well. Nabbit doesn't take damage from oh, Toadette's so joining. Really huh. And if Toadette powers up I knew about Nabbit because he's in Luigi U. Transforms into Peachette. Peachette can double jump. What? During free fall and get a boost back up if she falls into a pit. Luigi's first starring role in a platform What? Adventure. First of all, I'm surprised Toadette's in here, but... Lux treatment too, and comes free of charge. Yeah. Single Joy-Con controller is all a player needs, and up to four players can join yeah. together. Yeah. I, I like Mario U and Luigi U, I just don't know if... I already have... both games, so... on Wii U already. I mean, I have a lot of other games already, but... I mean, for all intents and purposes, I'm pretty sure Mario U was later bundled with Luigi U already. Um, this is Katamari. I'll be honest, I have never played Katamari, so I have no real opinion on it. I know a lot of people are probably flipping their minds right now. Katamari Damacy, remastered in HD. That naughty king of all cosmos... Katamari Damacy re-roll. And now you better take control of the prince here. And roll. Just roll and roll. All over the place. And all over stuff. I don't really have much of an opinion on Katamari. I know a lot of people who really like these games, but I've never really played them. On Nintendo Switch, you can enjoy the game's new gyro controls, HD rumble, and even multiplayer battles. I don't know if I could imagine gyro controls in a game like this. Roll it till you reach the stars, anytime, anywhere. Katamari Damacy Reroll will launch Winter 2018. Next, we have some Winter 2018. So a couple months. Nintendo's new service called Nintendo Switch Online, including the launch date. Oh, online. This is actually one of the big ones. The service will begin September 18th. So this comes out in only like a couple of days, I think. We prepared a video to show you what's offered with your Nintendo Switch Online membership. So please take a look. More games, more features. More oh, what's offered? Okay. Nintendo Switch Online. Let's see if these games are actually going to be just NES games or what's actually going to be available. Okay. 
Online play, we knew about that. I actually don't mind paying for online, but personally, it's purely the fact I... <coughs> it's purely the fact I grew up with, um, I had a 360 growing up and paid for online during, like, my junior high days. Especially, like, a lot of Halo, I played games like that all the time, so... I'm used to paying for online, and at $20 a month, it's... Okay, NES games... Uh, not really, unless it's... I'll probably like... Kirby's Adventure and Mario 3 again, but I mean, there's not much other reason I have for playing more NES games. I still have an NES Classic, and... Even then, I can't. I hate to say it, I actually found the NES Classic Library lacking. Look forward to a growing NES games. Most of these you'll probably play like once and never touch again. Save Data Cloud. Something unexpected can happen. Accidents can cause data to disappear. Hmm. But help is on the way. Yeah. With Nintendo Switch Online, game save data is automatically backed up in the cloud. Even if Just one second. Your save data will be safe from harm. Nintendo Switch Online also connects with the smartphone app. Okay, a smartphone app. Um, sorry, I wasn't there. I just had something in my throat that I needed to clear out. And I don't think people wanted to really see me do something like that on camera, so... Um... I don't think the smartphone app is that prominent, especially when things like Discord are so common, but... I see what Nintendo was going for, but it's just a little bit kind of... Members will also receive special offers. And special okay, what's the special offers? More to announce in the future. Probably just discounts. More features, more fun. Okay. Nintendo Switch Online. I mean, I averaged this out the other day. If it's twenty dollars a year, divide that by twelve. Yeah, nineteen ninety nine American. That's about. How's it look? 1999 a year is like how much? Like I think it was like 26 Canadian. Divide that by 12. That average is about like two dollars and ten cents a month. So that's cheaper than Netflix is, and that's all I really got to say on the matter. Oh. Oh. NES controllers are coming to Switch. Okay then. Please enjoy them with Nintendo Entertainment System. Okay, um... These controllers as long as these aren't too expensive, I may get these. I, I don't know for sure, but... I'm not against the idea, really, of NES controller Joy-Cons, but... Ugh, 59 US dollars, wow. That's pretty... I mean, that's... Uh, Oh god, that average is like eighty dollars for a control two controllers, and I don't know how to feel about that one to tell you the truth. More Nintendo Switch games. Your partner Pokemon is amazing. Oh god. Let's go Pikachu and let's go Eevee. I don't think this game looks that bad, honestly. Some people say that they find this game looks really average or bad, but I... Unless I'm just being really blind or something, I'm... Secret Technique. Oh, these are replacing HMs. I'm sure people will be happy about that. I actually don't mind HMs because I feel like a lot of the moves are actually somewhat practical, if I'm being honest. Um, particularly moves like Surf, because especially if you're using a water type in any of the Pokemon games, I find that Surf would be like something you would actually want to teach to a Pokemon. Okay. And yeah, you can change the hairstyle. Yeah. 
Look for two new bundles that will include a Nintendo Switch system. Oh, also. I'm just waiting and gonna start a new clip like right after this, just so. Because I think my thing can only record like 30 minutes. I'm up to 20 right now, so. The gates to. Okay. The burning hells will open on Nintendo Switch. Um. We're talking about Diablo. Oh, Diablo 3. Okay, I was like, what the heck is this? Your life, both inside and outside the game world. I wasn't totally, totally sure. I'm not too interested in Diablo, but. the full story and the deadly world of. I don't think this realistically would make any impact to anyone who plays Diablo. Actually, I feel like. A, I'm pretty sure more people play Diablo 2, from what I understand, and B, unless they have, like, cross-platform play. I like that they have options like couch co-op and, like, online and stuff. Oh, so you can unlock Ganondorf's armor in this version. Allowing you to summon a group of challenging enemies overflowing with sparkling goodies. Diablo 3 Eternal Collection invades Nintendo Switch. I was never too interested in Diablo or anything like that, really. We're making this party Mario Party, that's something I do want to hear about. <laughs> the Mario Party series with new types of gameplay on Nintendo Switch. Okay, let's hear it. Shake the Joy-Con controller and get your body grooving in soundstage. Or dive into the series' first four-player co-op mode, River Survival. Four-player co-op, huh. Bet you've never played anything like Toad's Rec Room, which cleverly connects two systems. Yeah, except most people, I don't have two systems, so... Yeah. By rolling character-specific dice blocks with alternate numberings, you can make a game-changing comeback. Okay. Every last minigame is brand new. It seems like it's going by the traditional rules, and I don't have a problem with that. I mean, I, I wanted it like that, so. I'm just curious to see what some of the other boards are besides the Womp board. The Womp Ruins board. October 5th, that is like three weeks away from now. A new story in a village with a secret to hide. I have no idea what this is. Oh, Game Freak, huh? The story is set in a small village. Under the protection of a great castle, the settlement enjoyed lasting peace. That is, until the sudden appearance of monsters. Indeed. Sounds like every RPG story ever. Single village. Take up arms against invading monsters. And strategically select from a variety of battle teams. I don't know why, but especially like a lot of JRPGs, I tend to have a harder time like getting into the into these kinds of games. Town releases in 2019. Town. I don't know much about it, it just seems like every other JRPG around. Alright. Which means there's a city in need of a new mayor. You City Skylines. You've got some real moving and shaking to do if you want to improve quality of life, energize businesses, and stimulate growth. Whether you're investing in roads and power lines, or public facilities, or transportation. I stations, don't know what to say about a city simulator. It's totally up to you. It's kind of a big deal. But in this game, can you tell that's why I'm drinking my tea right now? Because I have no real honest opinion on something like this. What's more, both previously released downloads of content packs after Dark and Snowfall are included in the Nintendo Switch version. Okay, so this is a course. Available today. I've never even heard of this and I'm not totally sure really what it would be. Blood and Steel. Never heard of this. Oh, yes, I did. This was that hyper flashy mech game from E3 that they opened up with. This was kind of the trend with games like a couple years ago, was like everything was trying to be mechs for a long time. Like, even. Like. Even Kirby was going that way for a short while, so. It's like. You gotta wonder how much, how far we're coming, I guess. 
At any time during battle, you can exit your arsenal to explore the field on foot. You can make enhancements to strengthen your human form, and your arsenal's abilities will be augmented as well. I have no thoughts or opinions on a game like this. Take down massive bosses. If this is if the if this game's any good, I feel like it's just gonna become a cult thing, kinda like how Damon X Machina launches in twenty. Damon X Machina. I didn't even know that's what that was called. A big adventure in a miniature Oh, this is I've heard of this. The Yoshi's Crafted World. I've heard something like this. Um I'm kind of curious about this. I just kind of hope that. <laughs> I'm curious to see what they're gonna do with something like this. I just kind of. Some people are gonna probably disagree with me on this one. I just kind of hope it's not as like s difficult as. Uh... What? You can play the course backwards. Guess a change in outlook really can show you a whole different side huh. of the world. The flip side. Know any would be Yoshis? Then pass a Joy-Con controller to a friend. Yeah, um well, Woolly World had co-op too, which is why I'm not surprised. Right, Yoshi? I just kinda hope this game isn't as like I hate to say as difficult as uh Wooly World, but I found that game unusually more difficult than. Is a perfect fit for Nintendo Switch. And to prove it, um, yeah. A leader in card and board games is bringing full adaptations of hmm. best-selling tabletop games to the system. Build a medieval world in a full adaptation. Oh, I've heard of. Uh, I remember this mentioned this mentioned during E3 as well. I don't really know what this is, but. And the game's famous expansions available as paid DLC. Apparently, it's good. Whether you play alone or alongside a second player, forge a powerful deck and a fellowship of three to face the forces of Sauron in each story-driven quest of the Lord of the Rings, the living card game. What? Stop the spread of four diseases and cure them all on your own or in local... Uh, okay, player, I don't know what they brought up Lord of the Rings for there a second ago, unless I'm just missing something. On popular expansions. Thanks to Asmodee, oh, okay, it's three different games. ...gaming on Nintendo Switch. In addition to these titles, Lord of the Rings, the living card the game, I... The way, including one of the most popular board games ever, Catan. Okay. Crawler based on Steve Jackson's iconic card game, Munchkin. Stay tuned. Okay, Catan and Munchkin. I'm not much for All handheld games, but... Even nations begin with a spark. Okay. Um, this is something new, I think. Whatever this is. Looks like just some path through history. Oh, is it civilization? I think I heard some rumor about civilization as well, if that was coming to Switch. I don't know what number they're on right now. Civilization 6. Okay. I feel I thought that's what I heard, but I wasn't totally sure. Empire in the palm of your hands. Sid Meier's Civilization Six. This is a game franchise I've never played or dabbled into. I've heard of it for years, but I've never really dabbled much into it. And okay, this is Starlink. This interplanetary adventure will push you and Fox McCloud to your limits. Let's be honest. You guys need all the help you can get. Technically, <laughs> Falco and Slippy will provide much needed backup in the new Nintendo Switch exclusive missions found only in Starlink Battle for Atlas. Yeah, Starlink has something Star Fox related in it. This was, like, shown off during Ubisoft's E3 thing, I'm pretty sure. Which I think was, like, something that was surprising a lot of people, but... Yeah. Hello, Wolf. <laughs> Never thought I'd miss the food on Okay, that was a random teaser of Wolf. Battle for Atlas takes flight October 16th. 
two more great RPGs are coming to Nintendo Switch this fall. Now the world ends with you and Xenoblade 2 DLC segment called A New Day, which contains a remixed map of Shibuya. So you'll really have to scramble to escape the air. I heard good things about this game back in like a decade ago when it was on DS. I never really played it, but I'm skeptical because I don't feel like the Switch is the greatest thing for touch-based games, personally. ...on a journey through the tragic history that doomed a kingdom and drove a hero down a dark path 500 years before... And I don't know much about Xenoblade 2 either. I know actually basically nothing about Xenoblade 2, so... ...both the artificial life forms known as Blades and their masters, the Drivers. Newcomers will have the perfect place to start when Xenoblade Chronicles 2 Torna, the Golden Country launches... Okay, so this DLC launches on the 21st, which is in about one week. I think it's next Friday. Oh! Oh, it comes out tomorrow with the expansion pass. Join more than 38 million players for free-to-play co-op space ninja action when Warframe launches November 20th. I don't know what Warframe is. Bruno Mars, Cardi B, and more anytime, anywhere. I am not at all interested in Just Dance. <laughs> or FIFA 19. These are two games I've never once had an interest in playing. Speaking of fast... Team Sonic Racing, I'm a little surprised they haven't talked much about this, but unless there's just not much to say, but the highest rated basketball simulation franchise is back. NBA 2K19. is available now on Nintendo Switch. And get ready to jam in the sequel to the Smash Hit NBA arcade game, NBA 2K Playgrounds 2. Coming this fall. Not too crazy about basketball games, if I can be honest. Joker, Harley, Lex Luthor. And the rest Lego the DC Super Villains. Lego DC Super Villains on October 16th. I kind of liked the first Lego Batman when I played that back in the day, Final but... Fantasy comes to Nintendo Switch. Oh, Final Fantasy. Oh yeah, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles, I did hear about this. I think Square Enix themselves like mentioned this before the Direct was airing, and actually, I'm surprised so far... Sorry to cut off the Final Fantasy talk here that I don't really know much about, but like I'm surprised there hasn't really been a discussion about or a message about like them delaying it for the earthquake victims or something. But Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered Edition will launch in 2019. Way before that. Players can Final Fantasy 15 Pocket Edition? The latest entry in the core series. What the heck is this? Final Fantasy 15 Pocket Edition HD launches later today on Nintendo eShop. Okay then, that wasn't really what I expected to see, but it's probably not something I'd be interested in. Another Final Fantasy game? Is also on the way. This title includes a new feature called Avatar Change. Which allows you to transform into legendary characters from across the series I history. I don't even know really what to say at this point. Final Fantasy is a series I've had mild interest in, but just never really played or got into. When it releases on November 6th. In addition, more Chocobo's Dungeon is on the way. I do remember hearing about this, actually. Um, a Mr. Dungeon game with the Chocobos. You can befriend all the monsters. Also, by sharing joy kind of I'm pretty sure the company that made the Pokemon Mr. Dungeon games also made, like, other Mr. Dungeon type games as well. Chocobo's Mr. Dungeon, everybody. Final Fantasy XII is coming to a Nintendo system for the first time. Final Fan How many freaking Final Fantasy games do they have to announce here? Jesus. <laughs> This remaster comes I imagine the fans of this are probably overkill, but I mean, it's... Pick up the pace of your adventure. It sounds weird to think that the Chocobo Mystery Dungeon game is the one that I... that piqued my interest the most, but... That's the one I actually remember seeing in Nintendo Power. Which reminds me... Oh, God. Later on... Oh, Final Fantasy VII? Enjoy these other classics. And their iconic scenes. Anytime. Wait, what? Final Fantasy 7, 9, and 10, 10 2 HD Remaster are coming to Nintendo oh. Switch in 2019. Okay, so that's. That's kind of big. Here's a bundle for the oh, God. 
Here we go. If you love the Super Smash Brothers series, check this thing out. Um, okay. Is this just a switch dock or just a bundle or Smash Brothers Ultimate is on the way. Okay. Especially designed dock features spiders from the original Super Smash Brothers game. Coincidentally, I'm wearing a shirt that is all the fighters from the original game. There's no better way to show your love. So, well, I mean, I'm already wearing something to show my love for the original game already, so also packs in something you'll want to get your hands on. Huh. Um. Okay, custom Joy Cons. Huh. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Bundle for Nintendo Switch will launch November 2nd. You can pre-order the special bundle. Oh, okay. It has the full game, but it's not. That won't actually come out until that. That the full game won't actually come out until that point. That's all the headlines for Nintendo Switch. Oh. Still going well? Thank you all for watching. We have a bit more to show you. Oh, okay. So, please stick around until the very end. Okay, I was gonna say, I got kind of worried when they said that that was the end there. Um, what do we got? Okay, either a new Animal Crossing is confirmed or Isabelle is being added to Smash. This could potentially be Isabel for Smash. I know some people are going to freak out if that's going to be the case. I'm not totally against Isabel, actually. I mean, even as an Echo Fighter, but, um... If that even is what this is going to be, but a lot of people are thinking of Isabel. Oh! Maybe. Maybe I should be the mayor and... <laughs> what? I have a good feeling this is pretty much just confirming Isabel as a fighter. Oh, Pete, thank you for your hard work. I should not be voicing these characters, but I mean, I'm not too, I'm not against Isabel if Isabel's actually in Smash. Yeah, that's what this is. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, I did not expect that. <laughs> okay, that's actually pretty interesting. Oh, she has a fishing rod. for That's a grab, I can tell. <laughs> wow. Um. Okay, I see how, in what ways she's different. <laughs> Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Um. Okay, cheer me on. Is that gonna be it, or? I have a strange feeling that that might be it, but I'm not totally sure. Unless they add Tom Nook as well, that would be a bit ridiculous. Could they potentially add Tom Nook? Could they potentially add? Makes me so proud where my friends get out there and try new things. Hmm, I just remembered. Is Tom Nook also being added too? I'm sure that we tuckered out after that camping and smashing and whatnot. I'm not really sure. I'm not even into Animal Crossing, and this is already pretty pumpy, pumped up. I was thinking they probably might have had like another reveal or something, but okay, there's a new Animal Crossing coming in 2019. Half the freaking internet is probably flipping out right now. Um, is it just Isabel confirmed for Smash or? I feel like that's probably enough of a big thing for them to end off on, but I mean, yeah, that's it. Okay. So in terms of Smash news, all we got was that Isabel was being added, which I guess that's fair. Um, I 
I'm not against that. I'm kind of like I mean I'm actually I'm actually not sure how to feel about that because I mean I Animal Crossing was always one of those series I was kind of just indifferent towards, so I don't know, I, I don't have a whole lot else to say. I mean if you have anything else to say, I mean then I guess let me know in the comments, because I mean I'm I mean it's Isabel. I don't really have a whole lot else to say about that. Um it's cool, I guess. Um, I don't really. I, I was on. I was a little bit half expecting someone else. Um, I'm still holding out for, like Shadow or, hopefully Bandana Waddle Dee. But that's still kind of hard to say, I guess, at this point. But you know, I'll take whatever we can get at this point. I know some people are. I know some people are probably like screaming and breaking their desks and whatnot about the fact there's a new Animal Crossing. I'm kind of. I'm just like, whatever, there's a new Animal Crossing, that's cool for the people who like that, I guess. Um, so now we wait until whatever the heck else is announced for Smash. I, this is just my personal opinion, I feel like there's going to be still some... There's usually a Nintendo Direct in October and November, I feel like there's... Excuse me, I still feel like there's still time for an... Excuse me an October Direct and a Nintendo Direct, or um, an October and November Direct. Whenever those will be, I'm not totally sure, but yeah. Um, I guess I'll just quickly check my Twitter and see how much Animal Crossing is trending right now, but it's probably a lot. Nintendo Direct, Isabel, Luigi, Animal Crossing, uh, Eric Carlson is being traded to the San Jose Sharks, Yoshi, Mario Party, Damon X Machina, I wasn't expecting to see that trending, Bowser and Switch, okay, I, I was kind of hoping for another random hockey thing in there just to <laughs> throw that off, but yeah, so I guess just tell me how you think, I'm not, I'm not upset about the Direct, I thought that was, any reveal's better than nothing, and I mean, Isabel is, I don't, I don't have a problem with Isabel being added, but yeah, um, yeah, tell me how you thought of that. That's going to do it for me. Thanks for watching. Peace out.